Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'm just going to be uh, giving you my uh, analysis, my opinion, my perspective in regards to uh, winter camping. It's a hit or miss proposition here in Texas. Uh, one week it's freezing, and the next week it's freezing, and uh, for a few days it's very, very nice. So my wife uh, typically travels to the university, and we have another place down there where she lives, and uh, she stays there Tuesdays and Wednesdays and possibly Thursday and Friday nights. But typically it's Tuesday and Wednesday night, so she leaves Tuesday morning and comes back Thursday afternoon. So that's been her uh, schedule for quite a while. So I've been planning to go uh, camping at some nearby, uh, you know, state parks, uh, yeah. just to, you know, get something uh, out of my RV. Because you bought an RV, what do you want to do with it? You want to go camping. That's the plan. That's the only reason you bought a camper. Typically, is to go camping uh, and travel. And do things like that. So I was going to visit some of the local state parks, you know, 100 miles that way, 100 miles that way, maybe 150 miles that way, and explore the region. But so far, I've had some terrible, terrible luck. Last weekend, uh, I was planning to go on a Tuesday. I planned it all week. I was going to go to uh, one of the local state parks. And then what happened? It started snowing around here and it started freezing for those two days. I'm thinking about going camping. Yeah, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, but we're going to have sleet and possibility of very, very cold overnight temperatures. And I'm a guy who was born and raised in Silicon Valley, and when it froze down there, it was a rare, rare occurrence. But right here in northern Texas, you never know. One week it might be freezing, and like I said earlier, it might be warm. So right now it's relatively warm. We're in the 50s here, in, uh, and it's a Friday here in uh, t you know Texas, in northern Texas, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But uh, my wife's home, so I like to stay and hang out with my wife. And, and we hang out, we talk, we talk about finances, bills, and uh, you know things to do, planning trips, etc., etc., and purchases. So we hang out and talk about those things, and, and we do our own little thing uh, around the house, in the yard, etc., etc. But, uh, you know, she's going to be gone Tuesday, but sadly, sadly for me, it's going to be, there's going to be supposed to be an ice storm, a little bit of an ice storm, some sleet, etc., etc. So that's one of the disappointments of living here in uh, North Texas in the Southern Plains is that, you know, you never, ever can take for granted the weather. It just might turn out to be pleasant on Tuesday, but according to the forecast from the various television, radio, and streaming channels, it's going to be, it's going to be rather, rather cold in the high 20s on Tuesday. And same on Wednesday. So there goes my plans. So those are my plans. So I just wanted to complain a bit rant a bit about my situation. Of course, a lot of you in International Falls or Bangor, Maine are going, uh, Garza, don't complain too much. We have, you know, a foot a foot or two of snow here. Uh, just, just be quiet, okay? But, you know, that's my experience. Everybody has a different experience. If you live in southern Arizona, you go, hey, uh, we never have any snow in, you know, inclement weather like that. It gets hot, but, you know, it's not, not an issue. And in the Bay Area, uh, typically, it uh, is a decent weather, except for this. Now that <laughs> we have global warming, it's been raining cats and dogs there for the last month. So from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been a Susan with Benagar. I'll give you a bit of a rant, a bit of a me complaining about my you know situation. I already have reservations uh, in March, mid-March, to go to Mineral Well State Park. And we're going to be down there for about a week already. But I was hoping to do some camping ahead of time before that happens. And hopefully in some decent relatively decent. I'm not talking about, you know, 80 degrees in uh, swimming pool weather. I'm talking about at least 40s, 50s. That would be nice to go camping, you know. I'd be happy with that. Of course, when I go camping in the area, I'm going to leave my uh, RV winterized. I'm only going to use electricity and I'm going to bring a porta potty and put that in my bathroom and use that in case I got to go take care of business in the middle of the night. I'm going to use my little porta potty. 
And when I'm done with that, I can always dump it here or there. So I'm not gonna be using my toilet, I'm not gonna be using my shower, etc. just for two days. I can be uncivilized for two days. How about you? So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for this old man here, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm at home here in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, again, please leave your kind and super friendly, incredibly professional comments below. Abajo. Muchas gracias a todos a ustedes. From again, where am I at? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.